It seems that Mike Tyson dubbing David Benavidez as the Mexican monster is hindering his chances of fighting Canelo Alvarez. Canelo has been clear about not wanting to fight just any Mexican, stating that when he refuses to fight Mexicans, it's because he represents Mexico. This situation might sound amusing, but one potential way for David Benavidez to secure a fight with Canelo is by relinquishing the title of the Mexican monster. By doing so, it could prompt Canelo to consider Benavidez's challenge. There's a belief in the boxing community that unless Benavidez stops referring to himself as the Mexican monster and adopts a different persona, like the Ecuadorian slasher, Canelo might not agree to the fight. This change in identity could be the only viable path seen to make that fight happen. The label of the Mexican monster was instrumental in David Benavidez's path toward a potential fight with Canelo Alvarez. For years, the boxing community has eagerly anticipated a showdown between Saul Canelo Alvarez and David Benavidez. Despite this fervent demand, Canelo has consistently declined to face Benavidez, causing widespread speculation and disappointment among fans and experts. However, there seems to be a somewhat unconventional way that might force Canelo to consider Benavidez's challenge. To potentially prompt Canelo to accept a fight, Benavidez may need to relinquish the title of the Mexican monster. This shift in approach could be the catalyst for Canelo to engage in a bout with him. Before delving into this option, let's take a quick look at how Benavidez originally earned the title in the first place. Benavidez has emerged as a dominant force within the super middleweight division for several years. He attained the moniker Mexican Monster from the legendary Mike Tyson, a testament to his exceptional skill and ferociousness inside the ring. This nickname isn't merely a casual title. It symbolizes Benavidez's fighting approach, heritage, and the profound impact he's had on the boxing world, including leaving an impression on one of its greatest icons. Born in Phoenix, Arizona, to a Mexican family, Benavidez has always maintained a strong connection to his Mexican roots, an attribute shared by numerous boxers who draw strength and identity from their heritage. His journey in boxing commenced at a tender age, displaying early indications of the power and finesse that would come to define his career. His ascent through the ranks was characterized by a blend of technical prowess, relentless aggression, and an audacious approach to facing opponents, qualities highly esteemed within the boxing community and reminiscent of Tyson's own distinctive style. During his prime, Mike Tyson's acknowledgement of Benavidez stemmed from the latter's impressive track record and his capacity to dominate the ring with a blend of speed, power, and strategic acumen. Benavidez's performances are defined by the immense pressure he applies on his opponents, systematically breaking them down with a relentless barrage of precisely placed forceful punches. This boxing approach, where Benavidez not only secures victories, but often overwhelms and outmatches his adversaries, resonated deeply with Tyson, leading to the bestowment of the Mexican Monster nickname. The title bestowed by Tyson goes beyond mere recognition of Benavidez's Mexican heritage. It's an acknowledgement of his stature as a formidable competitor in the ring. He embodies the spirit and intensity akin to what Tyson himself was renowned for during his career. It's a testament to Benavidez's prowess, signifying his standing as a fearsome force within the sport. In the boxing world, there's more than just a champion. There's a fighter who embodies the legacy of Mexican boxing with ferocity and skill likened to a monster. The Mexican monster, as attributed to Benavidez. However, Canelo didn't seem pleased with Benavidez receiving this title. Despite being the long-standing face of boxing and the super middleweight division, accruing numerous accolades over the years, Canelo indirectly addressed the situation. While not explicitly mentioning Benavidez, Canelo made a pointed remark, recalling how people labeled other fighters as monsters before facing him, implying that the experience of being in the ring with him was vastly different. It appears that Canelo might still harbor some discontent over Mike Tyson bestowing the monster title on Benavidez instead of him. He has continuously found reasons to avoid facing Benavidez, including the classic assertion of not engaging Mexican fighters. Consequently, a significant question arises. Should David Benavidez relinquish the title of the Mexican monster and challenge Canelo to a fight? 
Would this action prompt Canelo to accept Benavidez's challenge? Fan and boxing pundits discussed this intriguing possibility in their recent video, touching on the unique conditions that might facilitate a showdown between Canelo and Benavidez. In the latest video, Fan and Boxing emphasizes David Benavidez's remarkable performance in the super middleweight division, particularly spotlighting his match against Demetrius Andrade. Known as El Bandera Roja, the red flag, and the Mexican monster, Benavidez has showcased himself as a top contender in the 168-pound division. Despite the absence of a fight with Canelo, he retains high esteem and remains a fighter eagerly anticipated by many. Benavidez is notably in excellent form, displaying remarkable sharpness and undeniable strength, making him a compelling figure in the boxing realm. The show's host delves into the complexities surrounding the potential fight between Canelo and Benavidez. Canelo's unwavering stance against fighting Mexican fighters has posed a significant hurdle in arranging this bout. Samson Lukowitz, David Benavidez's promoter, humorously proposed a solution suggesting that Benavidez could abandon the moniker of the Mexican monster and instead adopt a new nickname like the Ecuadorian Slasher, a nod to Benavidez's mixed Ecuadorian heritage. This suggestion highlights the lengths Benavidez's team might be willing to go to secure a match with Canelo. Fans and boxing commentators also reflect on Canelo's history and his tendency to stand firm on his decisions despite external pressures. The host points out Canelo's reluctance to change his mind, evident in the delayed rematch with Gennady Golovkin and his meticulous approach in selecting opponents. This characteristic of Canelo suggests that he may persist in his resolve not to face Mexican boxers, including Benavidez. The host delves deeper into potential future matchups for Canelo, considering his reluctance to face Benavidez. It explores the possibility of Canelo moving up to the 175-pound weight class, or arranging a rematch with Dmitry Bivol. Fans and boxing commentators also acknowledge Benavidez's exceptional skill and strength, highlighting even Terence Crawford's belief that Benavidez is prepared for a showdown with Canelo. They discuss the potential scenarios, speculating that Benavidez might risk losing his belt or opt to move up in weight to 175 pounds or make way for Dmitry Bivol to step down. The question arises, should the Mexican monster relinquish his title just to secure a fight with Canelo? The nickname Mexican monster holds significant meaning both within and beyond the boxing realm. It's not just a simple designation, but a potent symbol of his fighting spirit, cultural heritage, and the commanding presence he holds as a boxer. This nickname encapsulates the essence of Benavidez's approach to the sport, fierce, relentless, and embodying the rich tradition of Mexican boxing, renowned for its resilience, determination, and unwavering attitude. The idea of Benavidez potentially relinquishing this title to secure a fight with Canelo Alvarez carries profound implications. It's not solely a tactical move in the intricate world of boxing politics. It represents a pivotal moment that challenges the very essence of Benavidez's identity as a fighter. This scenario prompts contemplation regarding what truly defines a boxer. Is it solely their skill set and achievements, or does the cultural and personal identity they bring into the ring also hold significant importance? This dilemma sheds light on the intricate connection between national identity and the professional realm of boxing, where heritage and ethnicity often play pivotal roles in shaping a fighter's persona and fan following. Being asked to shed a part of that identity for the sake of a fight represents a profound request. It highlights the challenging realities of the sport, where factors like marketability, negotiations, and the personal stances of other fighters can strongly influence one's career path. Furthermore, this situation raises broader questions about the sacrifices and compromises athletes must contemplate in their pursuit of greatness. For Benavidez, relinquishing the title of the Mexican monster might present opportunities for high-profile matches. However, it poses a crucial question, at what expense to his personal and cultural integrity? This decision surpasses the tactical elements of the sport, delving into the realms of personal values, cultural pride, and the core of a fighter's identity. In this context, the Mexican monster nickname extends beyond being a simple label. It evolves into a representation of the intricate interplay between one's identity, heritage, and the pursuit of success in the boxing world. Lukowitz, 
David Benavides's promoter, discussed the numerous challenges faced by their team in arranging a fight with Canelo in an interview with Fight Hype. Lukowicz highlighted Canelo's previous hesitance to face Benavidez and pointed to Canelo's loss to Mayweather as a setback that ultimately served as a learning experience, propelling Canelo's career forward. Regarding the financial considerations, Lukowicz emphasized the potential magnitude of a Canelo versus Benavidez bout, suggesting it could be a significant draw, potentially surpassing other high-profile fights in terms of pay-per-view sales. Lukowicz estimated that a Benavidez versus Canelo fight could generate over 1.5 million pay-per-view purchases, underlining the substantial market interest in this potential matchup. Discussing the negotiation process, Lukowicz described his approach as resolute and direct. He emphasized offering the maximum possible to fighters right from the outset, aiming to avoid the typical back-and-forth negotiations. This method, he believes, ensures fairness and transparency, making the value of the offer clear up front, without room for extensive haggling. Regarding the potential fight, Lukowicz expressed uncertainty about its immediate likelihood, citing Canelo's decision-making process. He highlighted Canelo's focus on legacy and challenging matchups, indicating that financial incentives aren't the sole driving force for Canelo. Lukowicz believes it's challenging to sway Canelo's decisions and force him into a fight with David Benavidez. Consequently, he suggests that even if Benavidez drops the title of the Mexican monster, it might not change Canelo's stance, implying that Canelo might still avoid facing Benavidez. So, that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.